Hello everyone, it's Wednesday and Wednesday is my glute day, my absolute favorite day of the week. I always save my cutest gym fit on this day and it just gets me hyped and ready to go. I repeat this routine every week. I've seen the most glute gains with this routine. Consistency is really what matters here. So we're warming up with the dumbbell sumo squats and what makes it a sumo squat is a wide stance. Make sure when you're squatting, your legs are spread, you have a forward lean and your chin is tucked. You're really engaging those glutes. For the range of motion, just go low enough to feel the stretch in the glutes, but not in the quads. You can also do a pulsing movement, but I prefer to squeeze my glutes, kind of hold and just take my time. I'm telling you, this is the best warm up. My glutes are fired up by the end. I do four sets and I recommend you go until failure, just until your cheeks can't handle it anymore. And don't forget to start with your dynamic moving stretches, especially your hip flexors. Your body's gotta be in tip top shape so we can really put in that work and focus on growing that booty. It's everybody and their mama's favorite glute workout, hip thrusts. And we're supersetting these with some low weight RDLs. With every workout, remember to focus on the muscle you're trying to hit. So keep that mind to muscle connection. After each set, just adjust or experiment with your form so that you can find that perfect sweet spot where the glutes are being targeted. I suggest starting out with low weight and slow movement. Form is everything here because you don't want to injure your back or feel it in your quads. When I do hip thrusts, I maintain a wide stance and keep my legs closer to me with my toes pointing out. Every time I push off, I put all the weight in my heels so that my toes almost lift off the floor with each rep. Of course, my chin is tucked and my core is braced, and at the top of each movement, I hold or pulse. I superset each hip thrust set with a very low-weighted RDL. These RDLs are slow and controlled, of course, are we picking up on a pattern? And the bend in the knees makes this glute focused, so keep that bend. As always, tuck the chin, shoulders pulled back, Maintain a neutral straight spine and with slow movements, hold at the bottom and squeeze at the top. The weight should be brushing against your legs as you go up and down. Remember, the movement is like closing a car door with your butt. And also remember, you don't have to extend all the way down. You're just going to injure your back. For hip thrusts, I recommend extra padding and a barbell pad. That way you only got to worry about pulling the weight, not about the uncomfortable pressure against your hips. When I set up for the hip thrust, I also like to have my shoulder blades just above the bench. I feel like my range of motion in these clips makes this more of a cast glute bridge than a hip thrust. That's okay, because glute bridges definitely target the booty more. I do four sets with one additional warm-up set and one additional burnout set at the end with the least amount of weight. Now stay on that Smith machine for some Bulgarian split squats. Oh my favorite, these are so fun. And on the Smith machine, it makes it much easier to set it up, balance and experiment with your form. As always, warm up without weight and please go slower than I was going. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I think I was nervous recording at the gym. At the bottom of the movement hold and at the top of the movement hold, that way you feel that glute stretch and you're pushing up with that glute muscle. Same as the RDL, keep the spine neutral and your core braced to avoid any back injury. Refine your form after each set just to see how close or far your legs should be placed so that you can feel it most in those cheeks. Now moving on to the leg press. When I target glutes on leg press, I don't worry about my depth. If I go too low, then I feel like I tend to feel it in my quads a little more. So the same rules apply. I keep my legs apart, place my feet higher on the platform. The lower your feet placement and closer together your legs are, the more you'll target the quads. So when I push off, I use my heels to push, of course. This is boring, so let's move on to the next workout. <laughs> It's not a glute day without cable leg extensions. When I do these, I turn my foot out so that it's targeting my gluteus medius, which is this muscle group here. The medius muscle is what gives you that shelf look. So we do three sets and 15 reps with these. Right 
finally, we finish off with the curved back extensions. I use a 45 to 60 pound barbell typically, and when I'm holding the weight, I keep it far from my body, and I curl my back and tuck my chin and squeeze. Of course, squeeze those cheeks. You gotta look ugly doing this one so that your butt can look pretty. No pain, no gain, am I right? So I do four sets of 12, and then I superset these with body weight until failure. This workout always got me seeing stars, and I don't know if it's because it's the last workout that I do, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you got this far. See you in the next one, and you got this.